mai più la guerra. This week, Pope Francis has been very vocal about the conflict in Syria in every way possible, and he's not the only one. Other church and humanitarian organizations are also speaking up. Caritas Internationales has urged the international community to avoid an armed intervention that could only result in more violence in the Middle East. What is clear to Caritas is that the international community should look to dialogue to bring all the sides together for peace talks and should not be looking at further military intervention. Further military intervention in Syria can only bring more bloodshed and more suffering for the Syrian people. Since it started in 2011, the conflict in Syria has taken its toll in the Middle Eastern country. More than 100,000 people have lost their lives. And according to Caritas Internationalis, more than 6 million people have been forced to leave their homes. It's the most massive exodus in recent history. Different camps have been set up in neighboring countries such as Jordan, Turkey, and Lebanon. This one has a camp of 100,000 people, almost as big as a small city. The humanitarian organization struggles to provide food, bedding supplies, and psychological and medical care to the victims. But as their number increases, the situation becomes worse. They're living in a really poor accommodation in makeshift buildings. I met one family, 26 people. They were living in a cow shed next to an open sewer, you know, children, flies everywhere. It's a really difficult situation for, for those refugees. Church leaders in the Middle East and other associations all agree that violence should not be fought with more violence. They believe that a negotiated truce is the answer to this tragic humanitarian crisis. In addition to his call for peace, Pope Francis has declared next Saturday a day of fasting and prayer for Syria and for all other countries trying to find peace.